the doors of the church was opened by Jesus himself. Remember when he was on the cross, the Bible says the veil was rent in two from top to bottom. That top to bottom give you complete and total access to God through Jesus. Wherever you are, if you want to move from pain to power to eternal, then just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It's just that simple. Three things you have to do. Confess. Confess your sin. You see, the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's right, you too, goody to shoot. <laughs> you know how some people say, well, I've lived a moral life. You're still a sinner. Amen. You're just as bad as that person. That person that may done a heinous crime. Yeah. Sin is sin. Yeah. And sin separates us from God. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Yeah. And the Bible also teaches us that all have sin. So if you can come to Jesus and confess your sin. This is a heartfelt moment now. I don't want you to feel it with your mind or hear it in your ears. But I want you to feel it in your heart. I want you to feel that godly sorrow. I want you to feel your need for a savior wherever you are. And then that second part of that. After confession, you have to believe. Yes. Believe the Lord Jesus is God's only begotten Son. Can you believe that? It's just that simple. Believe that He died for you. Believe that He gave His life on the cross for you. Yes. Believe that He stayed dead for three days. Yes. Believe that early on that resurrection morning, he got up with all power in his hand. You see, that's the confession part. The confession part, the believing part. That was the believing part. Now for the receiving part. I want you to know that when Jesus got up out of that grave, he gave you the gift of eternal life. If you confess, believe, you will receive eternal life. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Pain for power to return.